Every 12 hours, 1 minute and 58 seconds, a person is murdered in Georgia. Every 2 hours and 2 minutes and 48 seconds, a robbery occurs. And every 23 minutes and 41 seconds, a burglary happens. Georgia is a dangerous place in many different areas and sees thousands of different violent crimes every year. And a lot of murders and shootings happen on camera. And we'll be going over the most craziest ones today. In the year 2023, Georgia seen a total of 728 murders, with the county Atlanta Springs seeing the most with 412 murders. With Atlanta having the biggest population in Georgia with almost 5 million people, 4.9 million. This first one will happen on September 15, 2022. As you can see in the video, two suspects with extended clips on their handguns will run up and let off multiple shots. This would happen around 10.45 a.m. in the 2900 block of Jonesboro Road Southeast, which was at a Chevron gas station. They would shoot two people, killing one of them, which I didn't have any details on the people that they shot. But this murder would happen in less than 20 seconds, and they would let off multiple rounds. And make sure you subscribe to my members only where I post exclusive videos. Noon 11 Alive received this security camera video, which shows a deadly shooting outside of a Southeast Atlanta gas station. Atlanta police tell us the shooting happened outside this gas station here on Jonesboro Road about 1045 this morning. Two people were shot here in what they believe is a targeted shooting. They found one of those victims, though, about a quarter mile away in front of some townhomes. This next one will happen on August 28th, 2022, and it was show two men with a handgun and an AK-47 take out a father but there was no other details on this situation. In broad daylight, and know they can get away with it. Who's next? For that reason, his uncle asked that we protect his identity because they know what these guys are capable of. Police believe the 25-year-old was targeted. One of the things he said, everything he was doing now was for his kids, which he loved, you know, obviously a lot. And he was, you know, trying to be the best father he could be. This next situation would be crazy because it would show a suspect clear on camera right before committing a murder. It was April 3rd, 2015. At around 8.43, you would see 25-year-old Jabri Mathis sitting right here. He would then walk out of the store and walk up to 50-year-old Gary Mincy's car. The two were allegedly discussing a potential drug deal. And this interaction was captured on camera. Jabri eventually opened the driver's side door and pulled out a 9mm handgun. Gary then tried to put his car in reverse, but then Jabri would shoot him multiple times, striking him in the chest and the neck. He would be pronounced dead at the scene. In the 11,000 block of Joseph Eastbourne, 25-year-old Jabri Mathis would be arrested and charged for this murder. This next one would happen at 9.30 a.m. on October 23rd, 2015. As you can see right here, this guy would be walking down the street in 510 Murray Street. He would then pull out a handgun and begin shooting, but I couldn't find who was hitting this situation. This next one, a 31-year-old male would lose his life. It was August 4th, 2016. In Atlanta, Georgia, you would see three black males shown in this video. They would walk up on and shoot 31-year-old Kenneth Hurst on Hendricks Drive in Southeast Atlanta. This next one would be kind of different because it would show 
A 32-year-old murder suspect escaped from the hospital. He was arrested for murder and his name is Carwin Redding. He was arrested a short time after escaping on September 27, 2024. But on September of 2020, a triple shooting would happen. The motive behind it was because Crystal Williams decided to break up with her boyfriend. It happened in Dunwoody, Georgia. And Justin Dion Turner, 23 years of age, was the one that fired multiple shots, killing 22-year-old Will Williams and her mother, 46 years of age, which her mother was Danielle Sims. A mother and daughter shot and killed by an ex-boyfriend. Well, tonight the alleged shooter is behind bars after police say he violently ambushed the family. That shooting happened Sunday night on Peachtree Industrial Boulevard just as the family was driving. Police say they were cut off by another car and that's when shots were fired. In this next one, nobody would get hurt but it would show this guy letting off multiple shots at a gas station. And it looks like he got into an altercation with this guy in his black car. In this next one, it would involve two people shooting each other. In the video right here, this guy in the red shorts and black shirt would walk in the store. He would then press the one guy sitting near the counter. And the one guy at the counter would pull out an extended handgun and fire multiple shots at him. The guy in the red shorts had a gun too, but didn't pull his out in time. He would then run out the store and run back in the store to assault the guy and then run back out. But then he forgot his phone and ran back in the store. This is when the guy in the ski mask would get shot. They would both be left in critical condition, but I couldn't find any other information on that condition. I just happened to pull up here to get some hot wings maybe two hours ago and there was a guy laying on the ground. I just walked in to see if the wings or whatever and the guy told me to get out the store and Next thing I know, police just swarmed the place. Mario Marshall lives nearby. If he was there minutes earlier, he could have been caught in the crossfire. I don't know. We got to do better. That's all I can say. This next one would involve a guy with an AK-47 pistol and would have a total of 3.7 million views on YouTube. It would happen on August 23rd, 2016. This guy with the dreads would be parked at a gas pump and would get pressed by the guy behind him. As the guy held his pants with a gun, the driver would pull out an AK-47 out the driver's seat of his car. They would then begin shooting at each other, but nobody was hurt in this situation. It happened around 8.30 p.m. at a Taxico gas station on Lee Street in Atlanta's Oakland City neighborhood. The video was from this camera pointed this direction where the car was parked here at this gas pump, but there are other angles, other cameras. Look up on this pole. It shows the suspect, we're told, running away from the scene, but the owner here wouldn't share any more video with us because this is still an active investigation. This next one would be a robbery that happened on camera with the suspects climbing through the ceiling to steal over $150,000. It happened on August 3rd, 2024 in the 2400 block of Martin Luther King Drive in Atlanta. And they stole over $150,000 worth of cash. But that'll be about it for this video. Make sure you like or dislike, comment, and subscribe. And let me know down in the comments what y'all want to see next. And as always, stay blessed, stay well. Yeah, yeah, I'm out.